This is gonna be a very intense match. <laughs> oh, you think this intense. is intense? Wait till grand finals, my dude. Oh god. Dude, we, we're not. We're in still top eight, and you're talking about intense match. Yeah, What's going like on, guys? We got Mike Jr. versus Chooks. Chuck's already messing up. <laughs> already. See, I came back just in time. He does eye frame the Gordo. Nice job. Oh my god. Ooh. Mike Jr. Pushing the uh, the Jet Star out of the way. Oh, yeah. throwing throwing the Gordo of the Jet Star. Smart move. Yeah, there's a lot of smart plays right now. There was a little slip up, but now Chuck has his mind set. He's ready. I like how far he zooms out his camera. It's like like not many people do that. That's very zoomed out. I feel like it's, uh, yeah, it's a good call. I mean, it's advantageous. It's the only caveat is, like, your player character seems smaller. Here comes Mike, who uh, opts for the turbo, and he's gonna come out with a level 5 plasma after picking up this top speed and angling it on the rail. Ooh, that was a clean hit. He's, now Chooks is gonna go for the wheeling scooter, as I expected. And then, uh... Okay, so we got a game, folks. We got something brewing here. Stick around. Switch of the vehicle was a smart choice. What, what was he that? He's so souped out, though. Like, Chux is really out there. Do you know how to play it? It's good. I like to play some down. Uh, 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 so it means it's an incorrect prediction. That where they somehow messed up the diva. Oh, I was gonna ask about that. Like, uh, I feel like in all my time playing the game, I've had a lot of false or like fake predictions. Ten percent chance. Very. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank when you for putting a in, number two. When they are incorrect, they can be any of the twenty-six stadiums. Yeah. Okay. Because oh, I, I was afraid. I didn't want to mention it and then look stupid for like being wrong, <laughs> but. I'm glad it's true. Oh, and yeah, there's a legend. We all piece. had a heart attack. Like, my heart was like, oh, wait, we gotta restart this epic. <laughs> this right here. I'm like, wait, wait, no. we fighting King DDD? We doing a tag team boss fight? Well, they it's King DDD, the round one, the round one, like, the round one even count. Like, they might as well just quit. If it ends up being King DDD, but I highly, highly, highly doubt. No, they set everything up, though, correctly. Yeah, they it must have. It's just an incorrect prediction. I wouldn't sweat too much about that. You got it. Top speed's gonna make a huge difference. Oh, Damn, oh it got faded! Somebody call an amber lamps. Holy crap, Mike Jr. Oh, he's not even done, he's going around for round two! Oh! <laughs> Damn, son! Ooh, oh my god, an execution! Wombo combo! Hey, 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 we're going down! Happy feet! Wombo combo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what we should have done. Oh, Next oh my god, he gives him a Oh, whoa! Oh, uh, I don't know if I... Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, but... That was... Now they have the Shadow Star? star? Oh, boy. Oh, my god. Now they're really gonna destroy the vehicle over and over again. Mike Jr. In league in the Poggers Championship. <laughs> the Poggers Championship. <laughs> Oh, that was frame perfect after the bomb ended went right in. That looked frame per perfect to me anyway. Oh, he threw the bomb there to th to uh, to blow up the Whoa, vehicle it's, formation? It's, that's for a wheelie bike? Huh. Wheelie bike would definitely not be considered. I didn't even think about that. Oh. That was a the wheelie point. bike and the wrecked wheelie are not considered to be very good. Only the wheelie scooter is the good wheelie. <clears throat> Oh, here it comes! Here, here it comes, comes the menace! <laughs> He's coming back! Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah. no! Oh my god. We're all just like, clenching our balls, just waiting for something to happen. I know! <laughs> like, Don't tease up. me, man! Don't tease me! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, goodness gracious. Uh, looks like Chick, uh, Chick's is gonna get that legendary piece. You got a fire in the hole? Gordo's incoming. 
And now my so now what's gonna happen is Mike Jr. has a reason to target him. That's exactly what he's gonna do. So just give him like oh about seven seconds and he'll be dead. There we go, he got exactly what he wanted. Just go for the piece like this. So if you had to guess, what do you think is the, uh, the actual event? Destruction Derby, probably. probably. Yeah. Oh! Dragoon! Ah, oh, <laughs> freaking story. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, that was a little... That was a devastating blow. That was a little sus. He's, he's struggling to get that max tomato. <laughs> I just realized Mike Jr.'s HP is really low. Jeez. Uh, uh, oh, oh, whoops. He's trying that to give, really trying call. to give Chucks the dragon. That's what he's doing. Watch. Oh, ready? Charge to three and shoot. Oh, no, <laughs> Not much to say after that. It kind of looks like a done deal. Yeah, it's like... GG's in a handshake. <laughs> unplug your controller. Damn, two in all stats and just the one HP. Pause LR a start. That's a good uh, question. Are the players allowed to watch each other's uh, screen um, on Twitch? I uh, mean... I mean, it's it's not really a rule that can be enforced. So <laughs> I I'm gonna... mean, you gotta. Be, I mean, that's hard. I mean, that's Te hard. Technically, no, First you're not the, supposed to. You something. Probably, you probably have to have a second screen, and, and you would have to also second focus. Monitor, yeah. You'd have to focus on the game yeah. and the stream at the same time, which is delayed. So, I mean, the best you could get is maybe their HP, but it's like. Yeah. You're probably you're probably well, not like you're was, probably not a very good player if you have to use a stream. Well, like I was saying, um, I was saying earlier that there's no way to tell which like which pieces they have. Like you might be able to detect via the sound effect when they pick it up, but you want to be able to know if it's like, oh, did they pick up a dragoon or a hydra piece, and where did they pick it up? That that's type of information. Actually, good point. Uh, the, the true Catman makes in uh, Sorry about that. The true Catman in chat makes a good myself. point that this game was originally natively split screen, so it was entirely designed for you to actually be able to see the other person's screen. So sure, yeah. It's it would be really hard to classify watching the stream as cheating. Yes, I I'm gonna say for the sake of Kirby Air Ride and how it's normally, it's not cheating because of the that, that factor right there. Yeah. Because you can see what the other person's doing, but you should be focusing on your screen, though. 100% should be focusing yeah, on yeah. what your next move is. But I'm sure that uh, right. the reason why you <clears throat> you guys were able to thrive with, you know, like each Junior player having one. their own screen. Oh, well, sorry? Mike Jr. Uh... with one, the next game is on their way. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're desynced. We're desynced. I just noticed because the screen colors are different, so we're desynced. Gotcha. So you're gonna have to tell him that that we have desynced. All right. I guess I could talk. I, I, I knew well, that as soon as I was like, wait, the colors are different, so the game's decent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, the hack pack made like design changes around the fact that well, you can only see on screen. <clears throat> like right. being able to see behind you, and. Being able to change your FOV, things like that. Um, in a game that is still a competitive game that is still locked yeah. to like split screen. Like, Actually, uh, I have a question. Can we verify that the last game was desynced, the first one? Because like now I'm starting to question it. Because if it was yeah. desynced, then it doesn't count. So I don't. I wasn't really paying attention enough to actually know. So it doesn't say. It doesn't give me a time frame when it, the desync happened. I just, uh, I have, I would have to rewatch the stream to actually check. Uh, you'd have to give me a second. Gotcha. Well, I played through it with no issues, though. 
Uh, what do you mean by that? Oh. As a general, they played through the whole game with no, no yeah. issues. I bet that is like a general <clears throat> statement. Wait a second. I'm looking here. It actually might have desynced. I'm looking. Again? You think? Yep, the game desynced during the stadium. I'm looking right now. It desynced. Yeah. During the during the destruction derby. So now we have to debate whether or not we actually want to count that match. I mean, um, I obviously, obviously, anyway. obviously, Mike Jr. probably would have won. But it's just that's a, that's the rule that a desync means that it doesn't count, irregardless of how likely it was that he was going to win. So we might have to make this match actually count for the first one. And there was another so, yeah. desync. I guess that's pretty unfortunate because it was near the end of the match. But um, the, the desync only yeah. happened before they started the game, not during. So I was watching. I'm, Watch again. This... The desync happened during the stadium at some point. I watched it. Like suddenly they were in sync, and then it, it like went. It just all of a sudden. Just like yeah, suddenly. there was only one desync. Um, right now, like not. Sorry, game two, desync happened before they started though. Yeah, uh, it, well, so... it started in the very first game. It started during the destruction derby. So wait, hold on. This is not a desync game right now. No, this one isn't. I was talking. I was no, saying this that this one. Oh, okay. This we we should probably. Uh, this, just... might, this, this one might have to count for the first one. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we should probably commentate this match for now and then de deal with what the score is later. I'd say. Yeah. Well, we gotta just say it now because people need to understand that we actually might. Gotcha. Might indeed have to. Unfortunately, as as likely as it was that and Mike Jr. would have won, irregardless of the desync, that just that's just the rule that. If it does desync, it does not count. Yeah. But you know, it's probably really not gonna matter because I'm sure Mike Jr. can win three games in a row. So. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. Uh, obviously, this is the Kirby AI community, and people aren't gonna be acting in bad faith. But is there a way to intentionally desync? Uh, yeah, there is, and that's happened plenty of times in the Sonic Riders tournaments. Like someone will be like behind, and then they'll just like see a desync. But then when in the next game. They reconnect, start the netplay window over again, and then they're suddenly ahead and there's no desync. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there, you have to look out for bad actors. Obviously, it's not um, always the case, but uh, yeah. So, Chook's opting for the formula. He practically is already giving up this game, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do, but... Um... Yeah, like, you can just kind of see, he's not really getting much anywhere, and that's not just because of the low stats, which is just... The Formula <laughs> Star does not get too far in the first place. Star, <laughs> the Formula Star hurts. It hurts to watch. It's just, like, you want to, like... It's just cringy. <laughs> what is he doing? Wait, is he going for a down stat run? Is he giving up? Yeah, he's giving up. Like, he actually, he's going for Formula, and he's going for all down stat. So... That's... That's... It's, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> but whatever, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just he's he just giving up this match. I, I don't know. He can just he can just quit if he wants to. He can give it to Mike Jr. and go down the loser. He wants to. He doesn't have to waste, waste time. They're doing that. Holy crap! The bulk star actually gets places. Yeah, it, it can. Alrighty. Well, I uh. Has a bulk star ever won? Yeah, it wins air glider all. It wins air glider? What? Yeah, because it's a bulk star glitch. If this ends up being air glider, then Mike Jr. will probably show it. I didn't know there was a glitch for that. I got a lot of alert. Now chat's like, come on, play the game! <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is what it is. But uh, I I guess I, I hinted upon this before. Can't, I, can't, but I can't blame him though. I mean, it's more likely <laughs> to have a desync in Kirby Air Ride because they're running two different codes in the net play window. One person is running a code that says only show player one, and the other person is uh, has a version of the code that's only show player two. So the likelihood of desyncs in Kirby Air Ride is uh, is far greater because of that. Because there's two different codes running between two different uh, Netflix clients. You guys want me to talk about weight? <laughs> yeah, please talk about- yeah. Oh, yes. oh, I had a question from earlier, I had a question from earlier. Um, So when you have like, when weight is your highest stat, do you blink brown or- Yeah. Or not? Oh, okay, cool, cool. 
So it's it's literally every stat has its own version of the blinking uh, thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, what is what is a uh, weight? What is it? How does it actually? Affect? Ooh, look, yeah. you did it. The question I get all the time: What That's does weight do? Well. It's actually surprisingly complicated. I'm just kidding. It's actually not. So weight... There's a lot of unintentional side effects, I believe, to weight. I believe all it was really meant to do was just increase the bulk bulkiness of the machine. But in doing so, it also creates its glide... It also affects its glide time. And so it tends to glide... Uh, weight causes your gliding to decrease. And you don't get as much vertical momentum with less, with uh, sorry, more glide. I mean, uh, if you have a lot of glide and you have a lot of weight, you don't get as much vertical momentum as if you had a lot of glide. Um, also, holding A in the air makes you fall down much faster with more eight, more weight. Um, it also increases your weight hitbox. Um, uh, each uh, hurt box on the each machine. When you spin, a second hitbox is created, but when you're driving, there's always a hitbox in front of your machine, and that accounts for your weight. So when you have more weight, you do more damage with that front front hitbox, and you'll break oh, okay. things better, like boxes and and destroying dilapidated houses, and you'll break the pillar easier with more weight. Um, it also slightly increases your top speed, due to, I think, because of how weight increases drag force or something. But... It's not very much increase in top speed, but it is noticeable. You do yeah. go a little faster with more weight. So, it is, uh, that I believe is everything that weight does. Just because it makes you heavy. So, when you go downhill and uphill, do you uh, gain speed and lose speed progressively in this game? or uh, And does weight affect that? I, That's like my next question. I think so. There aren't like a lot of very steep slopes in the game. Yeah. Okay. Which is 